Con, congratulations. I, I, I am not kidding. I, I came in uh, one day and said to everybody, I didn't, before I even knew you were on, I said, you've got to see the show. It's amazing. Oh, thanks, man. And you, and are you, were you aware when you were putting it together of just how crazy this thing is? Ah, it's pretty wild. Yeah, no, I mean, this, I read the first two scripts. Right. You know, and this... That's your mistake. Never do that as an actor. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you go off the name alone, it doesn't reveal much. You know? I know. I thought it was about dancing or no, something. You know? Really, you can't tell. Right. Um, but it was so compelling and so unusual and unique. And, uh, yeah, I saw I was, yeah, hooked immediately. The, uh, the name Peaky Blinders is the name of the gang, yeah. right? And it, they were a real gang in Birmingham. Is that right? That's right, yeah. I mean, the, <laughs> the name... Kind of the clue is in the title, I guess, but they had these, they, you know, the peaked cap, peaked caps, which yeah. is like the uniform of the working class in right. Britain and Ireland. And so they, but they used to um, sew razor blades into the peak of the cap and that So that they could, yeah, 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 yeah take your, because yeah. they used to do that in Glasgow in the razor right. gangs. They would sew them into the lapel. So when yeah. you grabbed somebody, you'd lose your fingers. Yeah, uh, it's um, not pleasant. No, it's not. And that's why I moved into comedy. <laughs> <laughs> But what's interesting to me is uh, you're Irish, clearly, yeah. and you play someone from Birmingham who's interacting with a lot of Irish people. Yes. Do you ever uh, sit with an actor and think, that's not very good, that accent you're doing? Well, the thing about this was that everybody was doing different accents. Right. Everybody, like, I was doing Birmingham. The Irish char characters were like, you know, the Annabelle Wallace who plays Irish. She's like, from, she's raised in Portugal. Sam Neill. He's a, um, a Kiwi, he's playing Belfast. Sam Neill's accent is great Good in this, end. isn't it? Yeah, Good, he, he sounds a bit like Ian Paisley. He does yeah, Paisley. is that what he did? Is that what the accent he was looking at? I think at? he was gone for a bit of that. And Winston Churchill the, uh, com is a character, not a sympathetic yeah. character in the show. Not really, either. no. No, he did some bad stuff as well as some great stuff. Churchill. Right, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was, uh, the thing about uh, Churchill is people forget, because they used to say in Britain, I don't know if he's the right man, but he was the right man for the job yeah, then. Exactly. Which they also used to say about Stalin. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah. it's like the, you know, it, to stop Hitler, you needed a, a kind of neutron bomb like that. Yeah. But it was, uh, it's, a, it's an astonishing, because my, my grandfather hated Winston Churchill. Right. And you never... You never got that because he put machine guns uh, out in George Square in Glasgow when they were they thought there was going to be a revolution yeah. after well before the First World War and then during and after. Yeah, he's, he wasn't a very popular man in Ireland back then. Oh no, 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 I suppose. But, not. but I think um, I think in like my character, what my character sees in him in the show is that he did go to the trenches and he did. He was. That's true. You know, he I, was the real deal. Yeah. yeah so you got to hand that to him. But yeah, it's fascinating to have somebody like that as a main or a, a featured character in a show like that, you know, a major historical figure. Now, the, the character that you play, yeah. is, uh, was he a real guy? Did he really exist? There was a Shelby family, um, yeah. In fact, the writer Steve Knight is from Birmingham, so, right. and he, you know, all these stories were passed down to him through his parents, through his, I think his mother was like a runner for, for an illegal bookmaking gang. Good Lord. So, so he had them as a child, and uh, these, these memories, and, and he wanted to tell this story. And so this family did exist, and he always used to remember them as being incredibly dapper, despite not having much money and, you know, um, and, and very fierce. And, and then he just, I suppose, expanded that and created... Right, and goes into his own uh, Roman play. Yes. If you like. What about uh, the horse riding? You do some... Is that you riding that horse? That is... Uh, <laughs> it's not, is it? <laughs> no. No. It is. It's, it's a real horse. Um, and... Um, you see that? Yeah. Yeah. They do it right. Uh, yeah. He's, uh, he's a real horse, and uh, he was, um, yeah, we had to, I had to do bareback riding. I saw it in the very first yeah. scene of the first episode, when you ride, because my, my, my wife is big on horses. Oh, right. And okay. she's watching, and she's going, oh, he's, he's good, he can actually do it. Well, it's like, oh, so we get to watch it then? Well, it's, yeah. it's, the, <laughs> it's that classic actor thing of, you know, do you fence, do you ride horses, do you drive a car? Yes, of course I do. But you don't, you know, I can't do any of those things. Can you drive a car? I have recently learned how to drive a car. Is that true? Yeah. But it's because you live in London? Yeah. Yeah, I see, I lived in London. There's no need to have a there's, car in London. Really it's a waste of time. It's just yeah. a way to get parking tickets. A kind of yeah. Place, yeah. The, the accent, the Birmingham accent, is actually very hard. Yeah. It's one of those ones that people, if they get it slightly wrong, they go into Pakistani. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or South African. Or South African is like, yeah. hello, I'm from 
Birmingham World. <laughs> Yeah, it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. Uh, it is. And it's to sort of make it sound cool as well. Or not cool, but, you know, if you're a gangster, it's important to have some element of... Yeah, it's not that we're for a moment suggesting that a life of crime is cool. No, 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 no. No, no. Although we don't make movies about people who just live normal, happy lives. This is it. <laughs> do you ever read a script and go, nah, this guy's too much of a bastard, I can't do it? Uh, yes, yeah. I mean, I think... And it's great fun playing like a down the line bad guy, but it, what's much more interesting is someone that's like a comp, you know, a mixture of moral ambiguity. Oh, there you go. Yeah, and it seems no. to be that like uh, that seems to be the way Telly is moving. It's all about like you know the sort of the antihero and. Uh, <laughs> so, do you have a pet? I I have a cat. Yes. Oh, really? A cat? Yeah, you say? Yes, I do. It's got a cat. Is uh, is a ginger cat. <laughs> You have no idea what kind of cat he is, do you? <laughs> so you have a cat, and you live in London, and you have children? I do. How many? I have two boys. Well, that's enough. Yeah, it is. I have two boys, too. Do you? How yeah. old? Thirteen and three. Oh, wow. This yeah, is... Scottish people ejaculate once every ten years. <laughs> it's like, you know these big orchids in the jungle that every, once every ten years are just poof, yeah. like that? And whoever's around uh, gets pregnant. Wow. And that's, that's... I thought it was the same with the Irish. N n um, it can be, I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got lucky, I guess. Um, yeah. What age are your kids? They're, they're nine and seven, so... So you go uh, yeah. right back to work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I should look forward to it. I really am taken with it. I think it's the, the most exciting piece of television I've seen in years. Oh, you're very good. And you are spectacular in it. Thank and you anybody who knows anything about this show knows I don't do this Crikey. with actors. <laughs> but you are really good. Man. Well, I appreciate it. That was that. awesome. Killian Murphy, everybody. We'll be right back.